Before we do the next part of the worksheet, let's look at the definition. For integers a and b, a is congruent to b modulo m, written as a congruent b mod m, if and only if a minus b is a multiple of m, where m is a positive integer greater than 1. All we're saying is a is congruent to b mod m if and only if m divides the difference a minus b. That's all we're saying. So a is congruent to b mod m if and only if m, which is a positive integer, can divide the difference a minus b. So let's now do our worksheet. For part D, we want to give the least possible non-negative solution for each of the following. Non-negative means it has to be positive or it could be zero. Zero is also a non-negative solution. Question one, we want to find 258 is congruent to what mod eight? Now I'm going to use the definition. I am looking for a number that when I subtract it from 258, that difference is going to be divisible by 8. So 8 divides 258 minus something. So let's guess some numbers what this can be. Does 8 divide 258 minus 0? We can check with the calculator. It does not divide into 258. Does 8 divide into 258 minus 1? Again, we can check this does not work. Does 8 divide into 258 minus 2? 258 minus 2 is 256. 256 is divisible by 8. This is in fact true. So now this 2 is going to be our solution. We can say that 258 is congruent to 2 mod 8. For question 2, we'll do the same process. I want to figure out 7 divides into 28 minus what number? We'll start with the first number, that's 0. 7, does that divide into 28 minus 0? Actually, that does. That clearly does. So we know that 28 is congruent to 0 mod 7. Question 3, negative 579 is congruent what mod 13? Again, we'll figure out 13 divides into negative 579 minus what number? So now I have to check, does 13 divide into negative 579 minus 0? No, it does not. Does 13 divide into negative 579 minus 1? No, it does not. Does 13 divide into negative 579 minus 2? No, it does not. You don't have to show all of this work. You just have to check on your calculator to see if when we subtract a number from negative 579, is that divisible by 13? And I know that this one doesn't work, and we'll keep going until it does. Does 13 divide into negative 579 minus 4? Nope, it doesn't. We'll have to keep going. Does negative... Does 13 divide into negative 579 minus 5? Nope, it does not. Does 13 divide into negative 579 minus 6? And yes, it does. It finally does. So we know negative 579 is congruent to 6 mod 13. For question 4, again, we'll use the same process. 7 divides into 958 minus what number? Now I want you to try this on your own, 
Do the list, the 7 divide into 9, 58 minus 0. And keep going until you find the answer. So pause the video, find the number, and we'll check our work together. Hopefully you have tried this question on your own and you have come up with the correct solution. 7 divides into 958 minus 6. So that means 958 is congruent to 6 mod 7. Question 5. We'll do the same process. Does 6 divide into 738 minus something? And we'll do the list again. Does 6 divide into 738 minus 0? Yes, it does. We can check with the calculator. So 738 is congruent. 0 mod 6. Question 6. We're asking, does 14 divide into negative 384 minus something and we'll just have to guess until we figure out what this missing number is so take some time to do it figure out what this is make some guesses start with 0 1 2 3 until you get lucky and find what we need to subtract from negative 384 so it's divisible by 14 and if you were diligent and you took your time, you would realize 14 does divide into negative 384 minus 8. So that's what we're looking for. 8 is our solution. Therefore, negative 384 is congruent to 8 mod 14. If you look at number 7, this one's different. We don't know what the first part is, but we know what the second part is. So let's use the definition. 15 divides into something minus 5. Notice how it's different because the first part is missing. We don't know what that first part is. So we're going to look for this number. Now again, you want to start guessing. What's the smallest positive number that we can put here? Subtract 5 from it. It's going to be divisible by 15. And if you think about it, it's not too bad. It's actually 20. 20 minus 5 gives me 15, and that's divisible by 5, so this should be 20. 20 is congruent to 5 mod 15. For question 8, I want to know 4 divides into 5 to the 4th minus what? Well, we could always use a calculator. What's 5 to the 4th? 5 to the 4th is 625, and then we'll have to make a guess for that missing number. 625 minus what gives us a number that's divisible by 4? And if you guess, you should realize 625 minus 1 is going to be 624, and that's divisible by 4. So 5 to the 4th is congruent to 1 mod 4.